In this video, you'll witness the most bizarre food I've found in Southeast Holy Asia. Cow. This is Buffalo Placenta. I. But first, let's back up. Northern Thailand has a culinary identity all its own, different from the rest of Thailand. We are about to eat raw pig's blood. <laughs> Excited. Okay. <laughs> sure, you have delicious classics like khao soy or pork and sticky rice, but here in Chiang Mai, if you look close enough, you'll find shockingly strange foods that'll give you goosebumps. I can't swallow it. Do you need this? <laughs> Today, I'm on a mission to uncover this city's freaky, look like a little brain, flavorful foods. You tried it before, big fan? Um, let me think, let me think. It all starts here. Wow, that's a short sound. A few years ago, I came to Chiang Mai, and I noticed that everyone here really liked a specific and unusual flavor and ingredient. That would be very bitter bile. People love bile here. In China, they have oyster sauce. In Vietnam, they have fish sauce. Oh, wow. But here in Northern Thailand, they have a sauce so potent, so bitter, most people wouldn't survive a single spoonful. This is buffalo bile. But where does it come from, and can I survive a taste? Have you had bile before? Never. I'm sorry, what? Meat gift. Born and raised in Chiang Mai. Is this something for the older generations? or? Uh, she said like both generation, they both eat this. Okay, well, she's going to be ashamed of you. <laughs> I'm your provider. Miss Jeet owns a butcher I'll shop. Get you anything you need. But she's no butcher. Instead, she buys the buffalo in bulk, but outsources the dirty work. Check out my credentials. I got all of your essentials. It just seems like you'd save a lot of money if you learned how to butcher the animal yourself, no? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Not interested? Buffalo meat could easily be compared to beef, but it has a lower fat content. Its consumption is not unusual in many parts of Asia. But here, they go beyond the meat, obsessing over the intestines, but even more so, the contents within. We have two different trays of animal parts here. We have the buffalo intestine and then the buffalo liver. Let's start with this. This is a small intestine. The contents are a mixture of whatever the animal was recently eating mixed with bile. It's also known as... A liquid... Get it? Liquid... There needs to be a better marketing team behind that name. <laughs> but this here contains the kink of bitter, nearly uneatable foods. Not the liver, but the organ attached to it. The bile sac. I know I've had both, but I didn't always know what I was having, and I think I always just called it bile. But this gallbladder is full of bile. That actually gets squirted into the small intestine to help with digestion. Yes, I'm doing a biology lesson now. When I go to a restaurant in Chiang Mai and I see a big bottle full of a green liquid, are they mixing this with water? <laughs> It's a secret. Mixed with water. Okay. Even among the Thai, only the brave eat bile in this non-diluted form. Miss Jeet insists on dressing it up with dried chilies, MSG, and fish sauce. The perfect vehicle for this bitter concoction? Raw buffalo slices. It also helps to have some alcohol, like this local red whiskey. How often do you have people trying your raw meat here at your butchery? Usually, always. I, I know nothing of Thailand's butcher <laughs> shops. I'm very confused. Can you show us how it's done? Okay. <laughs> oh, she looks nervous. Good? Tender, a little bit bitter. It's no big deal. Why don't you try it out? Okay. Do you need this? <laughs> Just one second ago, said she said she couldn't drink because she's at work. <laughs> she drank the whole thing. Why are you clapping? Is it someone's birthday? I can't swallow it. It's better than I thought it's gonna be. Really? Yeah, it's not that bitter. Not that bitter. It's like a jelly. Je <laughs> like a jelly. <laughs> this one? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. More surface area means I can soak up even more bile. Like? I don't hate it. I don't want to run away from the taste. I want to try to taste it with a local person's palate. I see with what you've done here, the seasoning is brilliant. Because the fish sauce makes it super savory, very spicy. It's like a nuclear bomb. Not one made by North Korea, like a real nuclear bomb that works. That's fascinating. When folks aren't pairing buffalo sashimi with bile, they're usually heading to street side diners like this and sprinkling the bile on top of lob. What is the purpose of putting the bile into the lob? Uh, for bitter and Yummy. And also yummy. If you've tried Thai food, I'm sure you've heard of Pad Thai or Tom Yum. Well, this ain't that. This iconic northern dish is made of minced raw buffalo mixed with fresh buffalo blood. 
raw offals, three spoons of bile, and a load of spices, including chilies, cumin seeds, star anise, and pepper. Mix together with coriander and spring onions. And if you're a true local, you'll sprinkle even more bile on top. This is lob, and here they pair it with white sticky rice. Oh, wow. A little bit bitter. Very bitter. The meat consistency is like if you turn buffalo meat into toothpaste. It's become a meaty paste almost. And I can taste that super bitter bile kind of squeezing out of it. I think it's fantastic, truly. But I didn't come here just for this. We came here for something else. Bring the placenta. Here it comes. Oh. Oh, that looks like exactly what it's called. That is fascinating. Before coming here, I never knew something like this existed. I didn't know anybody could eat this. I didn't know anybody would want to eat this. Have you always served this right here? The placenta, it's an organ that develops in a mammal's body during pregnancy. It exists to provide oxygen and nutrients to the developing fetus. Thai people normally they like for salad. They get like a salad. Yeah. You know, sometimes when I do this show, I hope there's like a misunderstanding or a mistranslation. Or... Uh -huh. No, that's exactly what a placenta is. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can. Holy cow. Most mammals eat their own placenta after giving birth, since it's packed with some much needed nutrition. The only ones who don't seem to be eating placenta I... is us. That is, until today. To start off, she first boils the buffalo placenta with a bundle of lemongrass to help ease away any gaminess. She layers in powerful flavors, balongol, turmeric, pandan leaves, chicken stock, and shrimp paste. Is this a dish that you grew up with? What is it that you think people like about this dish? You think because it's delicious. Because it's yummy. I mean, if somebody asked why I liked waffles, I'd say because it's yummy. I wouldn't think of anything deeper than that. In some countries, folks believe that eating animal placenta will contribute to anti-aging and assist with postpartum complications. Do you eat the placenta of other animals? Do you eat like a pig placenta? Normally, they don't eat pig placenta. Before serving, mixed with her own homemade chili pepper paste and topped with some local herbs. So you've never tried this, right? Yeah, my dad asked me one time to try this, but I'm so scared. Part of me wants to say an animal gave its life for this, but actually, no, an animal gave life and that animal's still alive. Actually, this is the perfect vegan food. Oh, I just realized. No animal had to suffer. No animal had to die. The baby's still frolicking around somewhere. No harm, no foul. I know, they're gonna say, oh, the milk factories aren't nice. The placenta factories, they're not kind. It looks kind of like how cooked stomach would look. Look like a little brain. All of that is placenta? This is all placenta meat? Placenta meat. Meat? Is it meat? I don't even know. So what do we do from here? One spoon and then we just stick it right. The first time for both of us to have buffalo placenta. Okay. Let's she... try it out. It's so juicy inside, right? Very juicy. Mm. So, wow, the texture is so bizarre, so unique. It looks like stomach, but yeah, it's something between a stomach and a lung. But this is such a hard food to categorize because you cannot say, oh, what body part is that? Mm. It's no body part. That's so weird. It's amazing. It's melting my mind. As for the flavors, flavors are delicious. Intense flavors, it's spicy and very peppery. Here, I think it's just a texture, unusual. I'm not used to it. It's a brand new type mm. of texture. Me too. Almost like mushrooms, boiled mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. Juicy mushroom. <laughs> Juicy mushroom. <laughs> I just love the idea that if you're a vegetarian and you're not into killing animals, I mean. Yeah, it's a good idea if you choose this. Just eat this. <laughs> Whether it's placenta or this next food, you won't be finding either at your local Whole Foods. The controversial base for our upcoming soup, raw pig's blood. This is said to be one of the most dangerous foods in Thailand. Where I come from, the idea of eating pork that is not well done is unimaginable. The idea of eating pork blood, unthinkable. Yet that is what's happening here in this shop every single day. Me and my man right here, sir, how you doing? Mr. Bank is the third generation to run this stall using a 40-year-old family recipe. The lemongrass does a few things. It helps to cleanse the blood and it also stops it from coagulating and becoming this thick solid. For this dish, we want this to remain a liquidy, silky, smooth blood. Besides filtering and cleaning the blood, the lemongrass also adds a nice flavor. Raw pig's blood could potentially carry a list of deadly parasites, including streptococcus, which can lead to vomiting, kidney malfunction, and even death. Have you or anyone you know ever gotten sick from eating this? Uh, in the news, he heard before, but your friend don't have. If this stall hasn't been shut down after years of doling out this stuff, well, that's all the convincing I need. How old were you when you first tried this dish? What if he says right now? Oh, eight years old. Eight years old? That sounds 
nearly reckless. After cleansing, he adds spring onion and coriander. Now, fermented garlic juice, chili powder, sliced pork skin, boiled liver, fried intestines, fried kaffir leaves, and a heap of fried noodles on top. We are about to eat raw pig's blood. <laughs> I'm worried about it sitting too long. Oh, eat right now. There's tons of texture in here. Yes, it is blood as the base, but then there's all kinds of different crunchy bits in here. I don't know, I think it looks pretty tasty. Hold on, is this your first time eating this too? <laughs> first time again. <laughs> this is why I love having local experts <laughs> go with me as I try the local food. Good luck. Oh, the chili's always in my mm -hmm. nose, but there is like no blood flavor. Yeah, no blood flavor. Dude, that is delicious. Hey, what's it gonna be? The lemongrass flavor is in there, but also the kaffir lime leaf, which is used in a lot of cuisine here. Fresh, nice. citrusy, fragrant. A little bit spicy. And spicy yeah. too. You must eat one spoon, and after that, with the vegetable. If it's mixed together, it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> what about this? I think this can make it even more perfect. <laughs> Happy juice. Can you do this with any animal? Mm -hmm. Pork, cow, and buffalo. I've had something similar to this before a few years back. This is on a different level. There's no ironiness, no minerality, creamy, silky, milky. This is really changing my preconceived notions about food. I think where I come from, we're a little too intense sometimes. Look, I know foodborne illnesses are no joke, and there needs to be certain standards. I'm not saying people should start serving raw pig's blood. Mm. I respect the people here that do it. It seems like it's relatively safe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's been doing it his whole life, tell him to be honest. <laughs> Have you ever had a customer? Die. No, I mean, I mean. When they visit here, no people die for eat. None this year. <laughs> Doctors recommend that you eat only one to two eggs per day. But at our next location, I'm about to eat 600. Swatika, thank you for having us here today. We are here because of one specific ingredient. Right here, there is an entire bowl of ant eggs. These are insect eggs coming from a type of red ant that nests in mango trees. When I was in Myanmar, we saw red ants being collected. They can make a nest out of the leaves and bend it all together. Is that the same type of ant as this? <laughs> so why do you want to eat the eggs and not the ants? Although these tiny leathery eggs may look strange, this seasonal food sells out every time it's back in stock. Folks here cannot resist its soft, creamy explosion in their mouths. We don't eat the red ant because it's very sour. Oh, it's so interesting being in northern Thailand, kind of seeing where the red line is for certain people. Some people, animal placenta, yes, bingo, nailed it. Some people, red ants, no. Ant eggs appear in many Thai dishes, but none are more iconic than the egg salad. Our chef combines fish sauce, lime juice, chili powder, and roasted rice powder. Then, the ant eggs. It's been a long time since I've had ant eggs. I certainly have never had it in Thailand. Have you tried this? I tried this before. You have? Yes. See, local expert. <laughs> so, big fan? Um, <laughs> let me think, let me think. Pour a little fiber, shallots, lemongrass roots, spring onion, coriander, and a load of fresh chilies. What do you think? It looks amazing. To me, the scariest thing on this plate is the chilies. It's so, so. It's normal, <laughs> huh? And then a huge amount of eggs. This is awesome. Should we try it out? Whoa. Mm -hmm. I like it. You do, huh? It tastes really good. They kind of pop like little soft balloons. I like when it's like poof in my mouth. You like them? Yeah. I'm coming around. It's a new experience for me. For you, does the ant egg have any flavor? A little bit sweet. Perhaps. Very watery. Mm. It is just gushy. For me, it's like eating ant placenta. Oh, small placenta. The size of a grain of rice. A long time ago, Chiang Mai was all villages, right? And so a lot of the food here reflects kind of village food, survival food. People taking bugs or ant eggs, things from the wild, and then mixing them with powerful, tasty ingredients and making them delicious. Do you think if it was still the village times now, could you hunt down the ant eggs? I think I can hunt because they have one secret. You know, when they hunt, they use a sticky rice powder, make the ant go away. The ant eggs will remain. Yeah, yeah. How do you know this? From internet. <laughs> so if you were alive 100 years ago, you would look on the internet. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Which food surprised you the most? The buffalo pasinda. That was a big surprise, right? Yeah. When it's raw, it looks very unusual. But in the end, kind of good. Yeah, make me like impressed. <laughs> One final cheers. Yeah. Bing bong. Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A piece. What is inside these intestines? Key on Okay, like buffalo.
And so can you eat? Dai ka, can eat. So, of course I understand, but this is where people watching might get confused because you said that inside these intestines is buffalo shit. And then after that you said you can eat the buffalo shit. Can you explain? I've had the version mixed with water. I think the full intense version would probably kill me because it would be just so powerful. It'd be like drinking frozen concentrated orange juice after brushing your teeth. Uh, uh. <laughs> you think of anything worse? Oh yeah, this. There's tons of texture in here. Yes, it is blood as the base, the broth if I could say the broth. These are ant eggs. And are they next to the chicken eggs? You know, when you go to the grocery store. It's from the forest. So I think I've seen this type of ant before. Wait, by the way, are the ant eggs next to the chicken eggs at the store? She said no. No, completely different section. Guys, that is the end of the video. An epic day and my gosh, those foods today gave me PTSD. I will relive this moment many times in the future in therapy. A huge thank you to Gift for joining us. You can see her Instagram here. Go follow her and say nice comments. Also, a huge thank you to Chang My Foodie Tours because with their help we were able to make this whole northern thailand chiang mai production possible if you're coming to chiang mai look them up they will give you a very efficient effective fun tasty unique food experience that you won't get anywhere else chiang mai foodie tours thank you so much to them they helped us an incredible amount in making this video and this series happen guys that is it for this one thank you so much for watching i will see you next time a peace all right i think i am done with the weird foods i cannot think of any other placenta I mean, placenta? What the hell?